So have you ever lost a battle that you've had with temptation? I just did. And let me tell you, it caught me completely off guard. I'm a married guy, so I'm not excited or pleased to talk about this, but I felt like it's my duty to help you overcome what you're going through. So, long lost friend, female that I grew up with, we were down since the days of Oshkosh Bigosh. Called me, so like, she had moved away. Like, I'm in town, I'm gonna come through and say hey. I'm like, cool, come on through, no big deal. We've always just been plutonic friends, nothing crazy. Well, we was fourth, fifth grade, maybe we did like a little kiss, but it, we were friends, like best friends for a long time and she moved away. So wife knows or no big deal. She came by the house and this is what's crazy in life. Sometimes you feel a certain way about another person and you have no idea that they feel differently about you. What I thought was just a friendly situation was basically her making a move on me. And when she came over, we locked eyes. Before I know it, we were going at it, real talk. And uh, then I wasn't proud of myself. Thought I would just let it go, be done with it. We didn't go all the way, we went a long ways. And so days went by, we talking on the phone, my wife don't know. And next thing I know, we like in a, I got a side relationship going on. And uh, I'm just like trying to figure out how do I get myself out of this situation. So it was my birthday. And so I meet the female. She brings me a card. And little did I know, my wife was on to us. Next thing I know, my wife shows up at the location that we were at. All hell breaks loose. And then I wake up. In a cold sweat, I was like, oh my God, it was just a dream. Thank goodness it was just a dream. So I roll over and there's a card that the female gave me. And there's my wife looking directly at me like, mm, mm, mm. she about to just go ham on me. And I'm like losing it because I thought it was a dream. Because I thought I woke up, but I was still in this situation. And then I woke up again. <laughs> and it was really just a dream. And I was super proud of myself because I pride myself on doing the right thing. And we're all imperfectly perfect, capable of making bad choices and bad decisions that will put our current situation in jeopardy. But I was super proud of me because I didn't have anything to hide. And it was really just a dream and that really was not a true story, but I really did have this dream. And when I realized this, that dream wasn't for me. That dream was for you. Because those temptation demons will try to push you to make poor decisions that'll break up your marriage, that will break up your relationship, that will stop you from your diet, that will stop you from working out, mess up your health, keep you smoking, keep you drinking alcohol, keep you doing drugs, and a host of other things you know you ain't got no business doing. Lock in with me. Because you can win your daily fight against those temptation demons. You just have to be smart. You just have to be in control. And you just have to be very, very disciplined. I know, it's tough. The same thing make you laugh, make you cry. Don't feel good in the moment, only to feel bad later. Same thing that will bring you joy, can and will potentially ruin your life. So you gotta be like me and consistently exercise your say no to your personal urge muscle by visualization. So what I want you to do is I want you to visualize yourself being in a situation where you're about to do something that you know you shouldn't do. And immediately, I need you to shut it down. I need you to shut it down by saying this out loud. Nope, I will not do that. Because the temporary enjoyment that I'm going to get from this situation, no matter what it is, will pale in comparison to the long-term pain. You can defeat 
those demons of temptation. They're going to be lurking each and every day. Hey, if you're trying to stop doing drugs, if you're trying to stop doing alcohol, if you're trying not to cheat, don't put yourself in those situations. You can't hang around people that's doing what you're trying not to do. That's the smartest thing I remember Chris Rock said. Most fellas are about as faithful as their options. I'm not giving myself any options. I'm human as you are. Stop getting around chocolate cake when you know you shouldn't be eating chocolate cake. And you know how good you feel when you resist that temptation and you win that battle. And just like everything else, when you overcome that temptation that you have to do probably on a daily basis, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to defeat temptation and an even better day to win. Let's go.